The COVID-19 pandemic has caused a shift in our daily lives, especially for our children. Stay-at-home orders have kept them at home, spending more time on their digital devices. School children are also required to attend online classes to continue their education. Studies have indicated that prolonged screen time and lack of outdoor play are linked to an epidemic of short-sightedness or myopia among children. Uh, myopia is a very common condition. Actually, it's a, the patient with myopia will see distant object being blurred and the near object will appear as clear. But then um, to understand the condition more, I will just show you. For the eye to see clearly, the light needs to pass through the cornea and it will be focused by the cornea and the lens and it should be focused on the retina itself. Then the retina will send the impulse uh, through the optic nerve to our brain to create a clear image. But in a myopic patient, the light is focused in front of the retina instead of on the retina. And the reason for this is actually um, the cornea can be a bit more steep or the eyeball is longer than usual and resulting in the lights being focused in front of the retina. Another contributing factor is genetics. Myopia appears to be more frequent in children whose both parents are myopic. Asians also have higher prevalence of getting myopia compared to their Caucasian counterparts. If we look at global pre um, prevalence, uh, Asian has definitely higher prevalence of getting myopia compared to our co Caucasian counterparts. Okay, and even in Asian itself, East Asian, uh, countries and uh, students are actually at even higher risk of getting myopia. So, for example, for the age group of 8 years old, um, Asian students at the age of 8 has about 30% uh, chances of getting myopia compared to their Caucasian counterpart, less than 5%. And this number increases as they develop, as they grow older. So, like uh, in 12 years old group, the prevalence increases up to 60% in East Asian countries. That is uh, countries like China, Singapore, Taiwan, Malaysia, compared to uh, Caucasian countries. That's the incidence rate is about 10% only. Mm. Although a myopic child is unable to see distant objects clearly, most of the time, the child will not complain of this directly, so they will squint their eyes and bring reading material near to their face in an attempt to see more clearly. With the excessive eye strain, they will complain of headache and get more tired. A teacher or parents may notice a drop in their school performance or that they lose certain interest in the games or sports that they used to love because they have difficulty in seeing clearly. Environmental factor is, um, is the only modifiable risk for myopia. Okay, um, so I will advise the child to reduce the near work activity as much as they can. But however, with the demands with online teaching, um, it's a bit difficult to reduce the screen time. So what we can do is ask the patient to have frequent eye break by following the 20-20-20 rule, which is uh, to rest your eye after 20 minutes by looking at distant object approximately 20 feet for about 20 seconds. Other steps that can be taken are Practice good posture, install good lighting at your reading place, hold books 30 to 40 centimeters apart from your face, keep computer screens 50 to 60 centimeters apart, keep television screens 2 meters apart. Apart from uh, reducing the near work, we always encourage the child to go outdoor and play because studies have shown that if you are exposed to bright light um, for at least uh, 40 to 80 minutes per day, it is actually protective against myopic progression. So ask the child to uh, spend less time indoor and play more outdoor. Maintaining a balanced diet that contains antioxidant-rich foods also contributes significantly to the health of your eyes. One source of antioxidants that have caught the attention of many researchers and scientists is astaxanthin. Um, generally, I would advise a healthy, balanced diet for every child. Um, for the health of the eye, okay. Um, a lot of studies has been done from different different nutrients, like vitamin A, lutein, astaxanthin. Even is a newer antioxidant products. Um, astaxanthin has been giving a promising uh, benefit um, in terms of uh, giving general eye health uh, benefits uh, because um, it has been shown to increase some um, capillary blood flow to the eye and improves the focusing muscle of the eye so that the child can see more clearly. Astaxanthin is produced from algae and different from other antioxidant products because the active ingredient accumulates in the front part of the eye at the ciliary muscle itself. 
A study showed that consuming 9 mg of astaxanthin daily over four weeks could significantly improve the eye's ability to accommodate different focuses and reduce eye strain, hazy vision and flickering images. And these are the structures that are involved in the pathogenesis of the disease. So um, by giving an antioxidant protection on this structure, it is believed that it will actually improve the eye functions. Astaxanthin is available in Malaysia in the form of optic xanthin. Visit www.optixanthin.com for more information.